Welcome to this short video on how to mark and clip a queen. Now, I just wanted to talk you through the reasons why we do it, because some people really don't understand what the purpose of doing these two jobs is. Some people who really don't understand anything about beekeeping will tell you that we clip the queen's wing to stop them swarming. That actually couldn't be further from the truth. Clipping a queen's wing does not stop bees swarming. All it does is it delays them swarming, and it means that if we get it wrong in our inspections, it buys us another few days to actually get it right and take measures to manage swarming. So so please don't let anybody tell you that clipping a queen's wing um, actually stops them swarming. The other thing is there's no nerves in the queen's wing, it doesn't hurt them at all, it's just like clipping a chicken's wing or indeed clipping your own toenails, there's no pain involved at all, it's not cruel. So it's really important that we do that because if as we're doing our inspections we miss swarming preparations and the bees decide they are going to swarm, with a clipped wing, the queen will try and go off and, and make a swarm, but she won't be able to. And she will actually be unable to fly and all the flying bees will come back to the hive. Now, why is this important? Well, in today's environment, if the bees swarm, they'll probably go down somebody's chimney or in an air brick or something like that. And what we'll end up with is those bees will be destroyed. In an ideal world, they'll go, they'll swarm, they'll go into a tree and make their home in a tree and be happy ever after. But that just doesn't happen in the modern environment. So clipping the queen's wing enables us to do an artificial swarm. An artificial swarm enables the bees to actually swarm and produce two colonies in the way they would naturally. The difference is that if we do it right, both colonies will survive. And that's really important. Why do we mark the Queen? Well, two reasons why we mark the Queen. The first one is that we need to be able to find her and having a blob of paint on her head actually makes it so much easier to find. The other one is there's an international marking standard and that marking standard tells us how old the Queen is so we very easily can see within a hive how old the Queen is. And the marking standard is white, yellow, red, green, blue. If you want to remember it, will you rear good bees? And that's the way in which we do it. So we're gonna go out and have a look at how to clip a queen and how to mark that queen. And you'll see on the video how to do that. It's a very quick, simple process, but I suggest you don't do it with your own queen to start with. Practice on a couple of drones to make sure that you're comfortable doing it. There are many ways of catching a queen. Some people will use a queen catcher, some people use a thing called a crown of thorns. Personally, I'm not keen on either of those. As you'll see, I catch my queens just with my hand, I just pick her up by the wing, doesn't do any damage whatsoever. Those flight muscles are incredibly strong. And just when you're holding her, hold her always around the head. That's the strongest bit. And again, you won't do any damage doing that. So it's not a cruel process, it doesn't hurt the queen at all. You'll see that the bees don't get in any way flustered when we're doing it. Always use a paint that doesn't smell, don't use nail varnish or something like that, because that can cause problems and very quickly you'll get confident to do it and you'll be able to mark and clip your own queens. So if you enjoy it, as always, please give us a thumbs up and um, we'd like you to subscribe to the channel if you feel you could and that would really help us. So thanks very much and here's another technique that you can learn to become a better beekeeper. There we are then, how to mark and clip a queen. Relatively straightforward. You'll notice I'm, I'm actually right-handed, so I took my glove off my right hand. Even those medical examination gloves, I feel, are too much. I want to do that when I pick up a queen, I want to do it with my bare hand so I can exactly feel what I'm doing. And if you've got nice bees, there's no problem with that whatsoever, as you saw.
So hopefully you've got a lot out of that and enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really does help us. And we'll see you next time for some more beekeeping. But until then, happy beekeeping and hopefully may all your honey stores be good ones.